Welcome, what is up? Thank you for tuning back into the Chaos Lair. Of course, I'm Chris Chaos here with apparently my third video of the day. Uh, please go check the other two out. Very, very informative. Uh, the 411, Smackdown Edition, May the 23rd, 2017. Set up to be a historic night. Well, it failed on a couple of things, but 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 I'll get to that. First, the the Punjabi celebration. I wanted an elephant. Was it so hard? I why couldn't why couldn't you give me an elephant? That would have been fantastic. Just anyway, fireworks, no confetti, no balloons, and the fireworks, which there were a lot of fireworks. I felt like there should have been more. Maybe that's a fire hazard, fireworks and confetti and balloons. Anyway, whatever. Shane McMahon announces the six men in the Money in the Bank match in technically three and a half weeks, I guess, almost four weeks now at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view. It's going to be AJ Styles, Sami Zayn, uh, Shinsuke Nakamura, which I'll get to that in just a second, uh, Dolph Ziggler, Baron Corbin, and last minute, who had to plead his case, Kevin Owens. They gave Shinsuke the grand entrance. I have a problem with this. Because it just seems to me like they're just strapping the rocket to this guy's back and just having him soar. I'm going to be honest with you. Shinsuke is not more over than what Cesaro was at one point. And he can speak English. Matter of fact, he can speak five languages. He can speak so many languages, I can't even name them all. Why in the world are we just strapping the rocket to Shinsuke's back and just shooting him to the moon already? It, I mean, it's just, I hate it, because it leads me to believe that he is going to win the the contract, and then, you know, God forbid he wins the WWE title. I It's too soon. Maybe they don't want to have him around long term, and they just want to put him over and then get rid of him. I doubt that'll happen, but, you know, stranger things have happened. Uh, Shane also announces that there's going to be the rematch, Gender versus Randy, at Money in the Bank, which just so happens to take place in St. Louis. Might have to look into that. I'm not that far from St. Louis. Uh, I could probably make that. Uh, I could also probably make SmackDown next week in Atlanta. I'm not. I'm about the same distance between the two. Maybe a little closer to St. Louis than I am. Anyway. Uh... The, the women had a good match. Uh, a couple of messed up drop kicks by Becky and Charlotte. Got to play it fair. I hate, I still hate Carmella. God, I hate Carmella. Just, she doesn't really do anything. Like, and when she tries to do more than what she really is able to do, it sucks. It absolutely sucks. Now, personally, I hate her screaming all the time in the ring, but... I think that's actually a good aspect of her character. It's just something that I don't... I think it's good, I just don't like it. Uh, and, you know, as a as the fan, as Chris the fan, I'm not supposed to like it. But as Chaos, I have to appreciate it because I know what she's doing. I know what she's being told to do. So I understand it, I get it. The, uh, the, <clears throat> the Becky win was just, you know, it is what it is. Baron Corbin... Uh, losing to Sami Zayn like that, I didn't love. I didn't love it. And I really didn't love it because of what happened later with Brizongo and the Usos, and I'll get to that. But the post match beatdown was just tremendous. I feel like they shouldn't have even done the match. They should have just had Baron come out and beat the hell out of Sami like he's done several times in the past. And it kind of becomes his stick that that's what he, you know, his M.O., that's what he does. And that's fine. There's no, you know, that there's nothing wrong with that, and not, not as far as I see. But to have him lose like that after already losing at the pay-per-view, 
it just puts him on this trend, which makes me think that he's not going to win at Money in the Bank. He still could. They could still put him over, but it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I mean, he's going to have to get a couple of wins before you can really buy him uh, winning the Money in the Bank match, especially over the talent that's in it. The Usos and Brizongo. Tyler Breeze beats Joe Uso like that, and then uh, Fandango beats Jimmy Uso like that. See, okay, this is the problem I have with them doing back-to-back-to-back matches just so quick like that. Just, you know, less than a minute in either match. They already did this with Sami Zayn and Barry Corbin. So you can't do it again. Okay, now I understand why it was done there for the tag teams. That's why I said it would have been better had the match not even happened between Sami Zayn and Baron Corbin. Because the match, the two quick falls for Brizongo in their singles matches against Jimmy and Jay leads into an impromptu tag team title match, which I am completely fine with because it gives the Usos more time on TV, which they need. I mean, they are the champions. I've been complaining for a long time how the tag titles on SmackDown are not represented anywhere close to what the other three titles are. And that's just simply because they don't have the time. SmackDown needs to be three hours to work the way that they want it to work, or the way it's constructed, because they're trying to construct it like Raw, and it's, it's they just can't get everybody on. So things have to... You know, they need to flip-flop. Maybe Kevin Owens doesn't wrestle every week. There needs to be a women's match every week, but, you know, the title, like this week, Naomi didn't wrestle. The title doesn't have to be, you know, in the mix of anything, or the champion doesn't have to be in the mix, just like the United States champion doesn't have to, and even the tag titles don't have to. I think the WWE champion needs to be on the show in some capacity every week. Maybe, if nothing else, a backstage segment, an interview, hey, I'm going to be so-and-so, he sucks. Uh, But as far as all the talent that they have and all the storylines that they're trying to do, they have to swap them in and out. Because you can't get everything in in two hours every week. It's impossible. I say it's impossible because they haven't been able to do it yet. That's just my two cents. I'm really upset that they didn't uh, that they didn't bring the the new day back out. And I, I read on PW Insider because it popped up on my feed that the new day was there. So I got all excited. I'm tweeting about it during the show. I want to see the new day. It's been, you know, seven weeks. You know, Kofi's been out with the injury. Uh, Xavier had a baby. Big E become a minister. You know, he's marrying people now. So, you know, I, I, but that all that's great and everything, but I want to see them do what they do best, and that's entertain. And they were on Talking Smack, which even blows my mind even more. Like, they make their return on Talking Smack and not SmackDown. They should have made their return on SmackDown and then did something on Talking Smack quick and been done with it. Now, the Talking Smack was very entertaining. Shane did the little booty dance and then Renee tried to do a little booty dance and it kind of cut off of her while she was doing it, which uh, now I got heat with the the production team. They got heat with me and they don't even know it. But the, uh, and Naomi as well was on Talking Smack and, you know, she did all right with, uh, Naomi's not the greatest talker in the world, to be honest, but, you know, she's good. She's, you know, doable. I mean, as far as putting her on TV, it's fine. The uh, the main event, Nakamura and Styles versus Ziggler and Owens, was okay. You know, it it wasn't special, but I don't really think it was supposed to be special. These guys are going to steal the show, no doubt. The Money in the Bank match always does anyway, but, I mean, these guys are really going to show up and show out in a couple of weeks at the pay-per-view, so I can't wait to see that when that rolls around. Now, so that, that's as far as my uh, my SmackDown coverage. Now, go back and check out my other videos. I got the uh, the Pro Wrestling Crate in earlier today, so I actually unboxed that just to give you a quick preview of what's inside it. If I can get it open, just a quick preview. Oh, that's enough. That's all you get. That's all you get out of that quick preview. Now, that, and I also posted a little history lesson 
uh, for those of you that don't already know and didn't catch Tom Phillips saying it, because he only said it once, and it was quick on the show, go back. It's the last video I uploaded. Just go to all of my videos. I'm wearing a Macho Man shirt. Look at the date. It's the same date. So anyway. With that being said, make sure to like this video. Subscribe if you haven't. Also, remember to always follow me on Twitter, at the Answer Chaos, And, and, I may do a podcast this week. Who knows? I'm feeling kind of podcasty. Who knows? Anyway, a lot going on in the world of chaos, so maybe or maybe not. Check my Twitter. I'll post all the the lead up to it if I do it. So there you go. Uh, for now, that's all I've got. Deuces, as always. I will catch you guys later. I'm chaos, and hey, sorry you're not. <laughs>